Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m into m into m minus m equals to 24 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here first uh, you focus on this term. You see here m is multiplied by 3 times so that we write this term as uh, m to the power of 4 and this is minus m and this whole equals to 24. So this is multiplied 3 times so this is m cubed minus m equals to 24. So now in the next step uh, you see here uh, we focus in the right hand side and this is 24 and we write it as m cubed minus m equals to here we write this 24 as 27 minus 3 okay you know that 27 minus 3 equals to 24 and now in the next step here we move these two terms in the left hand side and it will be written as m cubed minus 27 and this is minus m and plus 3 is equals to 0. So further uh, in the next step uh, here uh, we we know that uh, we write this 27 as in, in prime factors form so that uh, 27 equals to 3 cubed minus m and plus 3 is equals to 0. So further you see here uh, we have this is m cubed minus 3 cubed so now we apply here the nice cubic formula. So according to this formula we write it as a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So here we apply this nice formula to the above term uh, so that our above term is written as in this form. Uh, so here uh, our a is equals to m and our b is equals to 3 so when we apply this formula so above equation is written as m minus 3 into m square this is a b so our a is m and b is 3 and plus b square so b is 3 square and here we take common minus from both of these terms and it will become m minus 3 is equals to 0. So further in the next step uh, here uh, we, we see that you have m minus 3 into m square plus 3m plus this is 3 square equals to 9 and this is m minus 3 and this whole equals to 0. And now you focus on both of these terms and you see here we have m minus 3 be the common term so that we take common m minus 3 here and the remaining terms are m minus 3 into m square plus 3m plus 9 and here when we take common m minus 3 the remaining terms are minus 1 equals to 0. So now uh, further in the next step uh, we have m minus 3 into this is m square plus 3m and we have 9 minus 1 equals to plus 8 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now further uh, here we divide this into the two cases so that our first case is we take m minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 3m plus 8 is equals to 0. So now here uh, from first case we easily get the first root of the given equation. So uh, the first root r m is equals to 3. This is the our uh, first root of the given equation and it is a real root. And now in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. So uh, here we saw this quadratic equation by uh, using the quadratic formula so that here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 3 and c equals to 8 
and we know about the quadratic formula it is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our uh, quadratic formula and now uh, we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula and it will be written as uh, uh, m is equals to minus b and our b is equals to minus 3 plus minus square root of b square so b is 3 square minus 4 times of ac so here our a is 1 and c is 8 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now further uh, we have uh, we need uh, more simplifications here so uh, we write it as minus 3 plus minus square root of this is 3 square equals to 9 and 4 times of 8 becomes 32 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and now in the next step here we need more simplifications and we write this expression as m equals minus 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus uh, 32 is equals to minus 23 and it is divided by 2. So here you see that we have uh, the negative sign appears uh, inside the square root. So we know that if you have square root of minus 1 it is equals to iota. So uh, we apply this nice definition here. So according to this we uh, break this square root on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 3 plus minus square root of 23 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2. So further we have uh, m is equals to minus 3 plus minus square root of 23 and here we know that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. So finally we have the three roots of the given equation are m1 equals to 3 and m2 is equals to minus 3 plus square root of 23 iota and it is divided by 2 and our third root m3 equals to minus 3 minus square root of 23 iota and it is divided by 2. So finally we have these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.